Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Ridge Meadows Flames versus the Richmond Sockeyes. Live from Mineral Arenas in beautiful Richmond, British Columbia, this is the Friday Night Special. With me, not so classic, but still co host, Aaron Green. Well, welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you've clicked on this video, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get into the Friday Night Special. Green, right here, we're having a look at the Richmond Sockeyes and those black jerseys with red and white trim, and they have Stenvig in between the pipes for them. And on the other end, we'll be having a look at the Ridge Meadows Flames right in front of our very eyes, wearing those red jerseys with yellow and white trim, and they have Candusso in between the pipes for them. Well, hello, Stenvig, and hello, Candusso. Green, this is the PJHL. This is playoffs, the Stone House Cup Finals. Game seven, and what a game to be in attendance in the audience here tonight. I can't wait, my friends. The Pacific Junior Hockey League, the PJHL, yes, our first time checking out the game. And on that note, I want to take a quick second to apologize in advance if I mispronounce your name or call you the wrong number. It's 100% going to happen, boys. That being said, let's dive into the action. The Ridge Metal Flames, let's number go. seven. Blatz fires it down low. It's intercepted by number 26, who uses the boards on the near side to try to get it around the Ridge Metal Flames, but the Flames Hold it in back to Blatz, who Whoa, has a shot, shot, and Stenvig gets tested for the first time here tonight. Easy save for him. Saw it coming all the way in from the blue line. No problem at all. Zapata had a shot testing Candusso out. Both goalies getting tested early here, Ao. That's right, Green. And this is an edited highlight reel turned into a game. It's also live, Green. I don't know yeah, how it happened. I don't know either. We're live here. We're living in the Matrix. It's Woo. weird. It's cold in here. It is freezing. Uh, Blatz has the puck in the neutral zone. Fires it all the way deep down into the Richmond Sockeye zone. Puck loose, waiting for a Sockeye to collect it. Nice work by McIntyre to feed it off to his uh, defensive partner. Intercepted by number four. Uh, Rich Meadows, they fire it all the way back oh, down. Oh, double team. Some stuff happening down below. Puck right off front lines on number six. Seven, plots a stick. Nice save. I think a, bot, a lot of bodies got yeah. in front of that puck, Green. Good save by the goalie. It was a nice shot. Uh, didn't even make it to the goalie. That's what I'm wondering. As Wildeman fires a puck all the way deep down into the Richmond Sockeye zone for an icing call. Yeah, it's a good uh, good game so far. Very fast-paced, Green. Um, as we dive back into the action, number 20, Fidel, it was battle in a Richmond Sockeye. Richmond gets away with it. Number nine, Zapanta. Zapanta has a puck on the near side boards. Zapanta. Fires it right up to the front. Nice shot by Zoo. That got uh, the stick. It, I might have, Green, as the puck gets dumped back down into the Ridge Meadow zone. Uh, down below is number 28. Oh, oh. oh, man. Zapanta almost got a piece of that, but it's Oliviero who runs with that puck in the neutral zone. Dodges a hit and gains his own of the Sockeye. Nice. Throws it nice. on front. Intercepted by Matsu. Puck scrambling as a Richmond Sockeye's pick it right back up in their own zone on the breakout. Just flipping it high and up all the way to the Ridge Meadows Flames Just zone. trying to get it down in the zone and dump and chase it. Exactly. As or, uh, the captain get oh. gets rocked by number 44, Asuke, who dumps the puck right back down in. Flames going to pick it up. Number 18, Douglas. Douglas has it. Fires it over to the captain of the Flames, who sits and Decides to wait for his team to get set up. Waiting for everybody to open up, man. Waiting for a breakout. Ravenstein there. Smart. Just, yeah, it is very smart, Green. Might Let be doing a change as well. Uh, Ravenstein fed it over to number 27. Uh, Bettisworth, who fires it on the glove of Stenvig, who decides to continue play, not getting that whistle. Richmond Sockeyes now with that puck in the neutral zone. Number 19, Norin fires it all the way deep down into the Ridge Meadows flame zone. Oh, wrap around there. It oh. was, and there's a big reverse hit <laughs> by number seven, Blatt. That was awesome. Boom, number 16, Grant to the Richmond Sockeyes did not get the Grant he was looking for. Negative. He got denied. He got put to the ground. Blatt win. <laughs> Uh, Richmond Sockeyes in the neutral zone. Number 13, Parmar turns into eight, who has a shot, hits a body, and goes deep down in the near side. Oh, nice and there's hit. a big hit by the Sockeyes. That's a flames have possession and get it out of their zone. That was a nice hit, eh? Sore is looking to soar there for the Sockeyes. Uh, feeding it to number seven, who gets crunched by Ravenstein. Kind of got Sorry, number it. nine. Um, yeah, it's a fast game, Green. Dude, it's really fast. We're used to watching, like, uh, teenagers. Minor, yeah. Minor? This, this, is, is, this is crazy. This, this is, is awesome. fast. You got to be sharp to be on point here. Yeah. Uh, as number 22, Foster, the Foster child, uh, intercepted by a whole backhand. Child. <laughs> um, I believe that is number 22 anyways. I don't know. Lowen, though, feeds it off to number 16. Capti, Capti, right back to Lowen in his own zone. Lowen feeds it. Oh, was looking oh, for it. a Touched flame. It. 
Yeah, he touched, he touched it. it. There's going to be, be no icing. icing. There we go. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, man. I can't talk yes, to you. Buy can. me a coat. Yes, you can. Okay, good. I'm back at it. Uh, the Richmond Sockeyes firing deep down into the zone of the Ridge Meadows Flames. Oh, nice body by number 44, Suke. Uh, the Flames pick it right back up. They'll flick it all the way out into the neutral zone as the Sockeyes turn it around again. Oh. And there's a hit up close and personal. Yeah, I love those ones. I like when they get us right in front of us. Right in front. Ball number oh. 44, a reverse hit. Yep, again. Number 11, Stewart got the better of that one. There, that's a couple reverse hits yeah. this game, Green. I love it, man. I love when guys go in for big hits and they get reversed on them. Yeah, yeah, because they, they don't expect it. They don't expect they it. They think they're going to just run someone over and then they get ran over. Yeah, so. especially when a guy has his head down and does it and then gets the worst of it. It's the best. Exactly. As the puck goes all the way back down into the flame zone, picked up as a Sockeye. Sockeye's number 15. Uh, Kielman has the puck getting pinned up against the boards, feeds it over to Strand. Strand oh. lets it go. Looks like someone Almost got a tip, tip on yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Just went over the glove as the Sockeye's battling on the far side boards at the half boards there. Uh, Ridge Meadows Flame gets away with it. Number, uh, I don't know, 77. Roach. Roach fires it down into the Sockeye zone as the Sockeyes go to collect it and fire it on the near side boards. Bring it all the way up, but it's held in by the defenseman of the Ridge Meadows Flames. Uh, back down, Douglas eats a little bit of a hit by Strand as uh, a big battle ensues. Man, man, the pace on this game is just absolutely insane. There is, and there's a whistle on the play. Um... Here we go. Charge it. There it is. Uh, no, no, there's no was penalty. It? No, no. Oh, no, thought... oh, there was a little bit of a trip. I don't know if there's a penalty. Nope, no penalty. Play continues. The Flames has it. Uh, puck gets up to the point. Blast, blast looking for number 21. Boser, Boser now handling the puck. Feeds it over to the near side boards as the sock guys go to collect it and try to chip it out. Held in by Blast, Blast gets up to number behind. 21. Right to 19. It was a shot. And Allen gets robbed by the blocker of... Stenvig. Yeah, that was a nice save. It was right close, man. Good good save. Parmar lost control as the puck goes all the way back down. Number 24, uh, Strat, uh, sorry, Soares has it again. So, uh, Soares battling on the half boards on the far side. There's two Ridge Meadows Flames and Someone two Sockeyes. Yeah, there needs to be that extra third attacker, but the Flame got away with the number four from the point. Oh. Fires it just wide. Puck goes over to the near side boards. Uh, McKnight trying to get it out, and he finally does get it out. Uh, Green? These guys are going to all the shots on that, man. These guys are going to have to be snipers to get it past these goalies. Yeah, exactly. It's Foster has it for the Flames. Foster on the near side. Mickey moves the size to shoot. Oh. And gets robbed by the blocker again of Stenvig. Yeah, it was a really nice blocker save. Watch this. I like how Foster was faking Boom. out like he was going to go for the pass. Yeah. Tricked the defenseman. Yeah. Made him bite and go down. Then decides to rip a rocket. And Stenvig got the blocker on that. I mean, these goalies take up the entire net. They're so big. Well, Green, this is. Oh, my oh. goodness. That looks like it just hit the side of yep. the net. I'm not too sure. Stenvig got a got piece. Off. This is junior hockey green, so everything is moving at a fast pace as Stenvig makes another pad save on the near side. 88 uh, was trying to get that puck. The puck goes all over to the other side as, as uh, Foster is in a battle again with McIntyre. Uh, Zoo's there to help out as well as LaRange. Big scrum as... Uh, oh, number 22. Foster got away with it. Foster oh, nice to pass. LaRange. Uh, near side. Stenvig got a piece of it as the puck goes all the way to the yeah, near just side now. Yeah, a little wide on that. Sockeyes need to get it out. They finally do, and they eat a little bit of a shoulder as the puck goes down to the Ridge Meadows Flame Zone, and they put, turn it right back around. LaRange has it. LaRange on the far side, throws it towards the net just wide. Puck goes over to the near side. Uh, 20 now in a battle. Big ball! Oh, Green, oh, did you see that? I did see it. He's going to get definitely get a penalty. Yeah, it's going to be head contact. Number 20, uh, Fidelli is... I believe his elbow or his forearm, his right arm, went into the head of the Richmond Sockeyes player. We're going to run it back and I have a closer look here. I think he put them here. both in. One for a high stick oh, look and at one that. for the headshot. No, that was his forearm, Green. His forearm went right in underneath the uh, chin, it looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and, thought he uh, gave it to them both. Okay. Fidelli's going to have to go sit for that one, Green. He got caught. He, he got, got caught. caught, man. Yeah, he got caught. He did it right in front of the ref. I mean, you're going to get caught for those. Yeah, yeah. You got to do it behind the ref's back. Wait <laughs> uh, right till he turns. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, back in the action we go. Sockeyes feed it down low. Uh, getting pinned up by number four. Low and as the Sockeyes moving it around down low on the near side. Sockeyes feed it over to the far side right there. Just toying with them now. Baines feeds it over to the point. Right back to Baines. Baines lets it go oh. right up front. The Sockeyes was tied up there. Couldn't get a stick on yep. it, but it still had possession of it. Number 26, Strand has it for the Sockeyes. Three to up front. Puck goes loose, and they lose possession of the zone green. Man, these guys move the puck around so well. So good. Uh, Uina gives it up. Oh, right to number 
19, Alan, who almost capitalized Ooh. on that mistake from the Richmond Sawkeyes player. That was close, right? It was close. No cigar, though, Green. No Don Castro cigar. Fidel Not Castro, today. whatever. No, go back to Cuba and get a, get a real cigar. <laughs> go back to Cuba. And get a real cigar and then bring it over. <laughs> Ain't having it with those fake Ooh, cigars. Take a breath for a second here. Okay. It's, it's hard to do, Green. There's you got to wait no, for those whistles, man. There's no time for breathing in the junior game as uh, McIntyre has a puck for the Sawkeyes. Feeds oh. it over. Intercepted by Coach on Coach on throws it right out front. Just wide. Wow. The Ridge Meadows Flames, another opportunity, Green. They've Almost had a lot capitalized already. capitalized on that, eh? Lowen dumps it right back down to number 22, Foster. Foster has that puck maneuvering around the circle. Hits uh, Sockeye and goes up and uh, still in the zone. Those Sockeyes are trying to clear it. They finally do as they rush out with it. Uh, and that's going to be the end of the first period here, Green. 0-0 zero, zero so far <laughs> in an insanely action-packed first period. Dude, action-packed to say the least. That was incredible. Wow. Listen, if you've made it this far and you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get back into the Friday night special. Here we go, back into the action. Number 28, Ho, has that puck uh, in the Ridge Meadows zone. Sockeyes are going to try to turn it up here, Green. The Ridge Meadows Flames yeah. put a lot of pressure in that first period. I mean, Sockeyes had some chances, but uh, they, they, def they definitely want to flick the gear switch and turn it up a notch if they can, Green, and yep. start to pepper uh, Candusso a little more. Yes, sir. Yes, but it's sir. the Flames right now who have possession. The Flames feed it over to number 19. Allen on the near side. Allen right on those half boards on the near side. Dumps it down low. Uh, Zoo in a battle with number 21. 21. Bosher looked like he got a yeah, hit. Yeah, he got high. a little bit in the face. He was uh, a little bit high. He had to fix his cage there. Yeah. But uh, no call. And there's an icing. I think it was because he was looking down a little bit. Yeah, it's possible. Right? Anything's possible, Green. Anything uh, is possible. Uh, 23, McKnight fires it over to number 9, Zapanta, who gets Ooh. checked by a flame who's just firing out there in all cylinders. Flying. Number 20, uh, sorry, 78, White has a shot. Uh, puck goes over to the near side, and there's a little bit of a hit, Green. Going Referee's into arm, that. Darted right back up. Bosher looks like uh, he's going to argue that one. We're going to run it back and see exactly. Boarding. What you think of this call? Let's uh, run it back. I'll tell you right now. Here we go. There's a oh, man. That's a soft call, oh, brother. Man, that is a. I didn't like it. He was already like falling when he had his arm on his back. I don't know if I'd call that a boarding. And you could tell that Bosher is also unhappy with that yeah, call. Is complaining. He should be. It is what it is. Green plays in and continue on. They're on the power play now. The Richmond Sock guys as they go around the net of Candusso all the way back to the point. Give it to number four. Uh, you eat a right back to base with oh. a shot and looks like Candusso was looking around for it for a second to see if that puck was behind him. Dude, he almost got the goalie screened when he ripped that shot off. Very, very close. And uh, I like that, Green. The Sock guys are turning up. They're taking yeah. advantage of the power play. And, uh, I mean, a shot on nets. One more chance to score a goal. That's how you score goals. That's how you score them. Yep, pucks on net and goals get scored, Green. Look at the stands here. This place is absolutely Dude, packed awesome. at Richmond, uh, at Minoru Everyone's Arena. waving at us. It's crazy. It is unbelievable, Green. And there's a shot Looks like that hit a body. Uh, 17, uh, Kochan lo loses an edge. Foster backs him up and gets checked from behind. And uh, McIntyre gets away with it for the Sock guys. McIntyre just out of the reach of number 16, Grant. Grant going to hustle after it. And it's too late because there's an icing call. <laughs> he tried to get his tape on it, but just missed it. He did indeed. As the Sock guys, number 23, McKnight gets away with it again. McKnight feeds it over to Baines. Baines has that puck on the near side boards for the Sock guys. Baines just fires it on net. Candusso made easy work of that, though. Let out a rebound as uh, uh, the Ridge Meadows Flames have possession of it now, and they fire it out and clear their zone. You don't, you don't get so lucky with those uh, taking random shots on these kind of goalies. No, no, you right? don't. But still, I mean, you never know, though. We see that in minor all the time. They take random shots like that on net, and it goes in. And it goes in, yeah. But I mean, I mean, technically, it probably could. It Just could. the chances are a lot less. A lot less. <laughs> but uh, I mean, whatever. A puck on net's always a good thing. Is Lorenz has a shot? Looks like there is a pad saved by Stenvig right there. Ricocheted out to the far side. Flames bat it right back in. And Stenvig isn't taking any chances. Taking the whistle. Freezing the play. Smart. Very smart. Reset. Flames win it right back to four. Wilderman. Wilderman fires it deep down low. Uh, number 25. Zoo has it. Zoo fires it over to the far side. The Sock guy's trying to get it right back out. Right back to Zoo. Zoo in the neutral zone. Lost it for a second. Then regains possession of that puck. Zoo on the near side. Now in the zone of the Ridge, uh, Ridge Meadows. Oh, Flames. Oh, nice. That was nice. Strand picked it right back up on the far side. Fires it. Hit a body right out front. Richmond Sock guy's battling it. Number five. Matsu fired it. I think that might have either hit a pad or just wide. It looked like it hit somebody for sure. Zapata that got behind. bodied from behind by no Allen. Call. Doesn't look like there's any call in the play. 
Um, I don't know, though, Green. Richmond. He should have just pushed him down gently with his arm. Then he would have got a call. He would have, exactly. <laughs> Bolshare fire, fires it over to 78. Oh! Why do go Roth right there? Oh! Number three, McIntyre just leveled the building, Green. Choo-choo train coming through, my friend. A brick wall Watch this. is what he ran into. Boom! Boom! <laughs> just soaks him. He was the brick wall, and he ran into him. Oh. Holy cow. He's going to get a call for that? He is getting a call. That looked pretty clean, Green. That looked clean, man. Oh, he wasn't man. even moving. Two minutes for hitting too hard. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess mean, so. Unless wow. that went up high. I don't know. They called it roughing, ah, though. It looked good to me. They called that roughing. Yeah, it looked good a to me, too. Roughing goal? Wow. Uh, well, Green, unfortunately. His refs is. must be from minor hockey. I, I'm not going to blast the refs <laughs> in a junior game. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it on any game. Yeah, I know you will. I'll just get back to the action here. <laughs> uh, back in the action we go to the far side. Um, a big battle right now. Oh, oh, Green. There was a hit. Number 23 Dude. of the Richmond Sockeyes, McKnight. Look at him just creeping on a come up right here like he's an old Bone Boom. Thugs album. Two and cross checks number 17, Coach, and right in the back. And get a contestant, but it doesn't even look like there's a penalty on the play. I don't see a call on it. There's no call on that play. Now, that would have been a penalty. Wow. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. There we I go. I see what kind of night this is going to be for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Norm <laughs> it up high and wide as it's picked up by Kochan of the Ridge Meadows Flames. Kochan has that puck in the neutral zone. Kochan gains his zone to the Richmond Sockeyes in the far side, getting uh, held up by Strand. Puck gets right over to Lowen, right to number six. Who has oh! a shot. Ramstein. Oh, my goodness. Puck loose out there. Scrambling to Stenvig as the puck goes over to the far side. Dude, this uh, is getting crazy. It is getting crazy indeed, Green. The puck, uh, the game, is, I mean, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Did that puck go over the net, hit the back, and then come back over the net again? Uh, you'd have to rewind it, Green. Dude, I don't it was know. crazy. I don't have a second to look down at the roster sheet to try to call the names and look back up. By the yeah. time I do, I think that's what happened. happened. It was going so fast, Well, man. speaking of going so fast, this game is moving so fast. It's Green. awesome. Number 20, Fidelli has that puck on the near side boards. Fidelli stopping short, having a look. Seeing his options. Fidelli feeds it over to the point. Number 19, Allen. Allen feeds it cross ice right back to, looks like he was looking for Allen or tipped it right down low to Fidelli again. Fidelli has that puck getting checked by Baines. Baines gets away with it. Stevens down there doing some photo work. Yep, Shout out to him. Stevens. I see Thanks him. for bringing us. Uh, 21 has a shot. Hits a body and goes over to the near side. Blast fires it. Oh. Hits Fidelli and ricocheted down behind the net as Allen picks it up for the Ridge Meadows Flames on the far side. Allen hits a skate. Uh, just, oh my God, the Flames are all over them right All now. over them right now, man. Uh, Absolutely all over him. Blatz has that puck. Blatz looking for a body. He's looking for Bosher, but it's intercepted by the Sock guys who fire it all the way back down green. And that's going to be an icing call. Whew. Now we can take a quick breath for a second here. Do we have any sponsors to shout Dude, out? I, we don't. No, we not yet. Some. Still waiting for some. All right, here we go. If you want to sponsor us, reach out to Sally Entertainment. You know the Instagram handle. It's Sally Entertainment. And nice there's hit. a big hit by number three, McIntyre, taking on Larange, as well as uh, Uida and number 17, Kochan, is in a battle right now. What's going on here? Green? I don't know, man. Do you see that? There's a bunch. He just elbowed oh, him in the head. Look at that. He did all the old wraparound. Wow. And the ref doesn't even. Just doesn't even He's, let, he's letting them go, Green. Let them go. There's the initial hit. That was pretty clean. The puck's right there. There's now, a right head there. contact. That's a clear head contact by McIntyre. Uh, I don't know. Look, he's got his left arm wrapped around his yep. abdominal. Dominant. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you know what I mean. And uh, there's just going to war right now. That, just, that's a clear he, holding like, call. He's holding him. He's dragging 100%. him down. 100%. Um, yikes. I mean, they both could have went in for coincidental because they were both messing around, but I mean, like call number, something. It looks like number 88, Larange, isn't really doing anything. He's just trying to fight him yeah. off. That, that's a penalty all day, but uh, no call on the play. Uh, so plays going to continue on. Number three, Lowen has that puck to the Ridge Meadows. Flames firing all the way back down. As, oh, there's a hit and another oh, hit. Oh, nice. A couple big uh, PJHL hits, Green. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It is fantastic. McIntyre with the puck for the Sock oh! Guys. It's a massive hit in the corner oh! of the screen. Oh! And Zoo gets I away from the Sock Guys, fires it on net, and now Candusso gets I the glove it. and slows the play down. I wonder if the ref forgot to put in his contact lenses today. Maybe he just can't see properly. Anything is possible it in the be. game of hockey, Green. You never know. It's just me, you know. It could be just you. I don't know. As the Sock the Guys have a shot. Nice glove saved by Candusso. Oh! Oh my goodness, Baines had a chance. He just lost a handle. I thought on he it. was going to rip one oh there. Oh man, he tried to pull it right back to his yeah. uh, forehand and lost it. It's too bad. It is too bad. That would have been nice. 
Uh, puck all the way back down into the Ridge Meadows flame zone. Number three, Lowen has it. Lowen feeding it up the boards, intercepted by Grant. Grant has possession of the puck now. Gives it away to Lowen, who's trying to get rid of it. Just a big scramble right now as Grant picks it right back up. Grant fires it over to Sars. Sars uh, loses it to number 78, White of the Ridge Meadows Flames. White fires it all the way up. Was looking for a stretch past the Ramstein. Uh, number six, or sorry, Raven oh, Seed. Right Raven throws it right up front. Number 19, Allen missed the open net. It looks like the puck going so fast it's hard for these guys to get it right on the tape sometimes. It is hard right? right to number 77 and a big save by Stenvig as the Richmond Sockeyes clear the front of the net. These goalies are phenomenal. Fantastic. Ravenstein. Sorry, that's what it is. Again, I, I already knew I'm going to make mistakes the here. The things dude. that we see most kids get goals on, these goalies just shut them down all the time. Yes, they do. Oh, oh did you see that? That was I a did. high hit, Green. Uh, and the captain's arguing it and there's a whistle in the play. What's he going in for? I would assume head contact. We're going to run it back, though. I would assume head contact. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's one. Twice. Boom! That's a high stick right in the face, Green. Yeah. He'll probably get a high stick for that. I would say so. Number 11. Stewart's going to go. I believe high sticks are called head contacts these days. I don't know. Are yeah, they? I, I don't know. It used to be a high stick in Once Upon a Time, but I think we Oh, you mean with the... Okay, I get it. You're I get watching it. a lot of minor yeah. hockey this year. Whenever a player gets high-sticked in the helmet, they call it a head contact. When yeah, back, that's just because minor hockey in the has day, terrible reps. No, no. I think that's how it is now. <laughs> I think it might. you might be right. Back in the day, it used to just be called a high stick, and I think now it's a head contact. <laughs> oh, Anyways, you got that up front. Back in the day. Uh, sorry, back in the day. Back in the play. <laughs> here we go. Blatz has that puck for the Bridge Meadows Flames. Nice move by Blatz. A deke out number 15. Uh, Keelman. Blatz in the neutral zone. Gains his own to the Richmond Sockeyes. Throws a towards the net. Big save by Stenvig. Puck goes over to the near side. Uh, getting bodied is the Ridge Meadows Flames player number 20, Fideli. Three Flames, one Sockeye. Who's going to come out of this green? Who's going to come in and give some help? Oh, well, there you go. Now they got a there lot of help go. in it. As Strand gets away with it, number 26 for the Richmond Sockeye. Still pressured by three Ridge Meadows Flames, Green. Dude, it's crazy right now, the man. Bat Look at Stevens. He's right in the mix, wondering who's going to win the battle. And it was White who got it right for the point. Throws it towards the net. Big save. It number 20 oh. has a shot. And it looks like the Stenvig stick got that, that Dude, save. Dude, he got something on that, the man. Stenvig stick, I the think, stick, Green. The Stenvig stick. I think it was the Stenvig stick. I thought that was a for sure goal right there. Ridge Meadows Flames on the break. Out in their own zone, number three, Lowen feeding it up to who are you? There you are, number 88, Larange. Larange fires it all the way. And look at it, they fire it so hard, it literally almost goes out of the Dude, zone. It's so fast. Um, Larange gets body number six. Robinson has a shot. Oh, oh my goodness, there is a beautiful tip by number 17, Kochan with Ravenstein getting the apple on that. And what a beautiful goal, Green. Dude, that was a sweet tip in. Oh my goodness. I got to see this back right here. So do I. It all starts with number 88, Larange firing that puck, goes yep. all the way over to the other side. Number 17, Kochan. Nice around. Feeds it right to 88, Larange again, right to the point. Okay, Rabenstein, Rabenstein, lets it go. Oh, what yes. a fantastic tip by Kochan. Dude, it was almost high, but he kept his stick under the crossbar. It, so was, it was under perfect. the crossbar, yeah. Green. It was beautiful. It was exactly what the Ridge Meadows Flames needed after applying all of this pressure that Let's they've been go. applying in the first and the second period. They finally cracked the case there Dude. in Stenvig. One uh, to nothing. The Ridge Meadows Flames over the Richmond Sockeye so far. I was wondering how long it was going to take for someone to open. Open it up here. It was this craziness. It was green, and we finally got it. As Blatz has that puck, gets bodied by a Sockeyes player. Sockeyes now trying to retaliate instantly. Uh, behind the net feeds it over to oh, number nice. three. Big save by Candasso. Huge save. McIntyre had a big chance. Baines has that puck, fires it over to 26. Strand feeds it right up to uh, 28. Huo, Huo has that Hua. puck. Huo. Uh, <laughs> Blatz, Blatz from the Ridge Meadows Flames on the breakout in the neutral zone, getting pressure by Baines, but he gets away with them. Blatz has it uh, maneuvering, throws it right up Ooh, front. Nobody no there. One, no one's there, though, Green. Home alone. Nobody's home. <laughs> nobody's home. Macaulay Culkin, uh, 27, gets stripped by number four, Uida. Uida looking for someone on low oh, and nice. takes him down as uh, 27, Bettysworth feeds it up to Roach. Uh, back in the corner is the captain, number six, Rabenstein. Rabenstein, a stretch pass to absolutely nobody. To just thin air. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it must be a penalty. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Right, right. That penalty. right, right. There it is. As uh, oh, puck goes right out front, the Richmond Sockeye is going to pick it up. Number two for Swords. Oh, right in the corner. A lot of stuff happening, Green. 
Dude, nice big hits. Everybody's just trying to get that puck. Ref's getting out of the way like he should. Really physical game I here. like it. Uh, nice work by number 27, Bettisworth. Oh, uh, oh, that must have hurt. It did. It looked like he went He's down. He's getting a penalty for that? Oh, the referee's arm went up. I don't like that one, He's going to call it a trip, and it shouldn't be. Well, let's have a look at this. Things look different when they're in slow See? motion. Told you. And... Uh, Dude, yeah. I saw it in real time. It wasn't a trip. Well, let's have a look at this green. Let's keep an eye on the stick. Look at him. He's look, hooking. He fell. Okay. You know what? He might have he fell. He fell on his own stick. He's got a stick in, right beside him. Yeah, but he was also getting hooked a little bit. If you look at the Richmond we'll Sock agree to disagree play. on that. That was a bad call by Aaron Green. <laughs> We're going to have to okay. agree. I'm not saying it was a trip, and I'm saying he was getting hooked green. It could have been a, a little. Goal. Either way, I don't believe the oh, right goes. Oh, my goodness. What, what a, a save. save. Big save by Stenvig. Back in the action. The Flames wow. feed it over to the point. Point to point. Right to Ravenstein. Ravenstein lets it go. Uh, I think Stenvig got a piece of that. It went up and out of play. Oh, man. That was crazy. This is crazy, Green. Yeah, it's, uh, 22 it's fun. wins Super it off fun. to Lowen. Lowen has it. Feeds across ice. Have a shot. Puck loose right up front. Oh, they and they score. And the Ridge Meadows Flames goes up. Two to nothing here in game seven of the Stonehouse Cup. I got to see this back. I don't know who put that in. Number 22, I would say, Green, judging okay. by the Selly. Yep. Uh, the leader of the pack, The baby. formation, there it is. So Lowen has that puck from the point. Lo Lowen point to point. The captain lets it rip. Let's have a look at this puck. Right there, yep. number 22. Yep. I think he got that out of midair, Green. He got it somewhere, but he got it in the back of the net is where it ended up, and he that's could, where they wanted it. You can see the he made the initial save. It was going up and down, and number 22 came and snuck in yep. as a puck was dropping. I think he got a stick on it and batted it in. He was just sitting on that back door waiting for something to pop out in front of him. A fantastic goal. Two to nothing. The Rich Meadows Flames over the Richmond Sockeyes so far. Great game. Fantastic game, Green. And uh, something happened oh, here. that's the end of the second period. And that's the end of the second <laughs> period. Two to nothing. The Ridge got, Meadows Flames over the Richmond Sockeyes so far. Got people walking in front of us. Listen, if you've made it this far and you still haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get back into this crazy and wild Friday night special. Let's do it as there's a shot by the Sockeyes. Candusso makes a save. The Sockeyes, they've had chances here tonight, they have. Green. They, have. they just haven't been able to bury. They've had a couple of really nice chances, too. Uh, a couple one-timers, yeah. Yeah, Candusso has shut them down. They need to just keep applying pressure, keep putting pucks on net, keep doing what they're doing, and uh, we'll hope, to start, hoping that one goes in. Yeah. We'll have to start calling no do so. My goodness, look at that green. Can do so makes the same as there's a lot of traffic out front. A lot of sticks whacking away at that puck. But again, he's not letting anything behind him right now. No, sir, Ooh, he's a not. A little bit of a trip there. I don't know if you've seen that. As the Richmond Sockeyes throw it right out front. Nice defensive work by the Flames player. Flames chip it up, way up, all the way out. Uh, and it lands deep into the Richmond Sockeye deep zone. Deep into the Sockeye zone. In deep rivers, green, where the <laughs> Sockeyes Where swim. the Sockeye roam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go, the Flames over 17, Kochan spins around as a shot, Kochan. Oh, some rough stuff going on right yep, there. Yep, it's going to get rough now, man. We're oh, the third. there's a trip right there, Green. I've seen that. McIntyre tripped up, number 88, Lorenz. The referee's arm shot up, and they got a penalty. Let's see. I, have to, I missed it, so I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to the ref until I watch it back right now. Oh, I've seen it. Look, his stick Guaranteed was trip. all up in the, his, uh, he got him. between his legs. You're going in. Yeah. That was close to a cup check almost. It was, it was it almost. riding high. <laughs> he was... Getting a little frisky. It was. Uh, Ridge Meadows Flames feed it up the uh, Flames player in the neutral zone. Puck bouncing all over the play. Oh, did you see that? I did. Rabenstein got a high stick from the Richmond Sockeyes players trying to bat the oh. puck out. And there's a post right there, Green. Yes, sir. That was a ripping of a shot. It was a ripping of a shot, indeed. The Flames almost went up three to nothing right there. Yeah. They did. Uh, Lowen go. Oh, sorry, not Lowen. Uh, Wilderman going to collect it in his own zone. Wilderman feeds it over to 21. Uh, Boscher. Boscher fires it over to the side. Fidelia has a shot. Oh. Nice save. Allen whacking away at it. R uh, Richmond Sockeyes, number 15, getting away with it. Number uh, Kalman. Kielman. Kielman feeds it over to, oh, off of the skate at number 19. Uh, Norton didn't work flames out, though. just all over them. The Flames are on fire right now, Green. Fidelity is getting pressure by number 15, who eats a cross-check in the back. Plays going to continue on, though. Boaster oh, also cross-checking. Cross that is a cross-check from behind. Oh. 23 McKnight shoves him, and <laughs> there's a lot of battling going on Dude, here, Green. it's awesome. They're, I, I mean, it's their, uh, it's... Junior, right? The I referees mean, are letting us go. It. Bo sure, yeah, look at him. He just drove Dude, him. He just ate ice. Right into the ice. He's like, make me a snow cone while you're down there. And 23 McKnight like, no, didn't you like make that. Me one. You know what? That was just a little bit of a tit for tat. Yep. 
So That's probably why the ref let it slide. And I'm okay with that. Usually the ref gets him on the retaliation. That was retaliation, but the ref let it go. So I'm all right with that, Green. you got to let some stuff slide, right? It's the hockey. You he's, do. These are do. big boys. Exactly. Uh, McKnight feeds it over to number 15, Kalman. Uh, right back to 19. Norton. Norton has that puck in the socket. Throws it on net. Nice save by Canduso. Flames going to collect it. Flames chip it uh, all the way up to the neutral zone. Uh, gain the zone. Flames, number 77, has a shot. Nice save by Stenvig. Covers it up. Makes no mistakes there, Green. No, he didn't want to even take a chance. Someone was going to come flying in there, right? I mean, third period here. Game seven, Green. The Flames are up two to nothing. Uh, Sockeyes are trying to make something happen. They need one. They need to cut that lead in half and then work from there, Green. Dude, they just got to swim, swim up that river and get something in the net. They need something in the net, but it's number 77. Roche, who has that puck for the Ridge, Ridge Meadows Flames, getting pressured by a... Oh, big body by number four, Yurida. Uh, the Flames Going spinning in around it. from danger. Number 18, Douglas. Douglas has that puck on the far side boards. Douglas fires it down and he eats a hit, Green. There is a call there, on the there plate. Was a call There's on a that penalty. Hit. Yep, there was. The referee didn't like that. It's boarding. boarding. Okay. All right, there let's see it back. Here we go, number 77, Roche. Uh, oh, there's the initial one. Yeah. percent boarding. Yeah, you eat a rock him into the boards. There I can be go. fair. I'm good with the refs when it's a good call. Yeah, why don't you tell the ref you made a great call? Good call, ref. There you, you know what? Go. That was a really good call. There you go. I'm team refs, greens team. I'm going to forget about all the other ones now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The Richmond Sockeyes from their own zone fire it up and out of their net as uh, Wilderman going to collect in his own zone, getting pressured by Grant. Uh, Grant and Wilderman in a battle right there. Wilderman drove him into the boards. Platt's there to help out as well as Baines. Sockeyes player falls down. Puck gets a loose from them as uh, number seven, Blatz, gets away with that puck for the Ridge Meadows Flames. Blatz in the neutral zone. Go for a skate. Gains his zone to the Richmond Sockeye on the back end. Trying, he was looking for number 20. Fideli got away from him. Fideli feeds it over to Boster. Right back to Fideli. Fideli has that on the far side boards. Having a look. Feeds it over to Blatz who has a shot. Nice pad save by Stenvig. Puck goes over to the near side boards. Can't clear it. Blatz has it. Let's it go. Oh. Stenvig. Oh, I think a defenseman got in the way of yeah, that. I saw that too. Nice defensive work by the Richmond Sockeyes. They're doing a lot. Uh, they're blocking a lot of shots here, Green. Yeah, and Getting it out of the zone and down the other end of the ice, man. Wilderman for the Flames feeds it over. Oh, kill. intercepted oh, by the Sockeye. Oh, I going to happen there. Just got out of him, Green. He was trying to get yeah. the handle on it. He couldn't correct it as a Sars fires that puck. Nice glove by Canduso. Picked up by Ravenstein. Ravenstein has that puck. Nice little sauce. Took that right on the uh, shaft of the stick there, but it's turned around by Parmar. Parmar has it for the Sockeyes. Feeds it right over to Huo. Can't get the shot off. Sockeye Zoo picks up that puck. Zoo right over. Oh, oh. big body. Uh, puck lines up. McKnight stick. McKnight trying to get that shot off. Flames scrambling to get it out of their zone. Green. Who battling as well. Flames on the ground trying to get it out, but they can't do it. Parmar feeds it down low. Sockeye's playing with it right now. Gives it has a shot. Hits a body right now. Flames oh goes down, God, and it's mayhem crazy. here. It is absolute mayhem. McKnight dude. lets oh. it go. Big save by Canduso. Zoo picks up that rebound, and the Flames finally spin around and try Ooh. to get that puck out, and they finally do. It's like the sock I just stepped up, man. Yeah, Green, the, the river was flowing. They went in the, the direction of the flow flowing. of the river right there, and that's what the Sockeyes need to do right now. Holy, they put a little water on the flames and that's it. They came exactly, swimming Green. in. They, or, or will the flames oh, nice will the flames cook the fish? You never know. <laughs> uh, flames feed it right back down to Bosher. Bosher has a puck. Feed it right out front. Gets away from him as the Flames pick it up. Number, or Sorry, the Sockeyes pick it up. Number 13, Parmar dumps it all the way back down into the flame zone. Handled it by Lowen. Lowen fired. Nice stretch. Stretch pass tipped in by number 21, Boaster, to avoid the icing. McIntyre going to collect it, spinning around. Got him in a little oh, bit wow, of a nice. headlock. Uh, as, uh, 15, Kalman Still kept oh, going gives on. it right up to number 21. It was a shot, and Stenvig makes the save. Nice save by the goalie. That was a hard shot coming at him. Very hard shot. Uh, off of the face off. A big scramble right here. Sockeye's getting away with it right there on the near side. As they get it out of their zone, rushing it up as Norin loses it, though, backed up. Oh, nope, not backed up. Puck all the way back down to the neutral zone. Nice pass right to LaRange. LaRange gains his own for the Flames. LaRange goes, oh, no, that's done. And LaRange oh, oh, oh. the bottle and scores a third goal oh. for the Ridge Meadows Flames. That was what you call a beautiful goal, my friend. And the fans in the Woo. stands were going wild, Green. Dude, what I a went goal. Wild. 
pop that bottle, man. Lorange gets the third unanswered goal for the Ridge Meadows Flames, and you know we're going to have to run this one back. Oh, absolutely. I didn't even see that coming, man. Look at that beautiful feed by oh, Foster yeah. right to Lorange. Lorange looks, look at him, Greeny. Faked him out. Boom! Boom! Goes upstairs, pops a bottle, and he's going home after that one, dude. Dude, beat some deep glove side. Oh, my goodness. Look at the fans. Their arms just shot oh, yeah. up. It was absolute mayhem, Green. That was fantastic atmosphere that was here. Sick. It was fantastic, Green. Incredible goal by Lorenz. Three to nothing. The Ridge Meadows Flames over the Richmond Sockeyes with four minutes left to go in the game. Yes, sir. This Pot is quite the game. Potentially four minutes. I mean, if they score, it could go into overtime. They just need to get three goals, Green. Just three. And nothing's uh, nothing's dude, out of the realm of you know possibility what, man, never, in a hockey game. We've seen it happen so many times in hockey, dude. We have. Here you go. Uh, number eight, Baines has a puck. Baines oh! has a shot oh! and scores. There you go. The Richmond Sockeyes capitalized and retaliated almost instantly. Dude. And you can see the fans are on the edge of their seats. Knock, knock. Who is it? Yeah. It's a goal. It's Baines right there. And Baines <laughs> ain't playing around. Baines Woo. has had an incredible game here. If you watch this whole oh, highlight yeah. reel, he's been all over the ice. And here he goes. It all starts. Nice moves by number 19, Norin. Feed it up. Intercepted by Lowen. Lowen. Fires it right into Baines's abdominal area. Baines turns it right back around, settles a puck down, lets an a absolute bullet. bullet go out of the oh. chamber green. A laser beam. Oh, yes. And put the Richmond Sockeyes on the board. Dude, I mean, we just talked about anything can happen, man. Let's go. And that just like that, something happened. Turn Three to up. one, the Ridge Meadows Flames over the Richmond Sockeyes so far. And I feel some goodness coming man you never know green the puck lands on canduso's glove and that's that i was almost speechless there. this game's so crazy it, it is nuts it is nuts it's it's awesome there's no time to be speechless it moves so fast i don't have a second to be speechless Dude, they green. should bring us out for every game this they is like should the best thing ever uh, oh what a big poke Huge. check by Stenvig of the Richmond Sockeyes. Look at this. Kochan fires it right out front to number 22, Foster. Boom. Look at that beautiful poke check yep. by Stenvig to take away the opportunity that Foster had. Like, uh -uh. Foster just became a foster child after that play. <laughs> they gave him away, Mom, Green. Dad, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Green, you're absolutely right. They should at least bring us out for one game a week. Dude, that would be amazing. I, I would take one game a week in the regular season for the PJHL in a heartbeat. I'll take any of them. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, it is fantastic, Green. I absolutely love this. Uh, back in the action we go. The Richmond Sockeyes have the puck uh, from their point. Number four, Ueda going to collect it. Ueda fires it all the way back down. Handled by Ravenstein. Trying to clear that puck as the puck rides the boards right there. Big battle with Strand. Puck gets away from him. Baines has it now. Baines on the back end. Gives it to number 16, Grant. Grant getting pressured by Lowen down low behind the net of Candusso and the Sockeyes are really working it right now Green but it's Ravenstein who gets away with that puck fires it all the way deep down into the Richmond Sockeye zone who have an empty net pulled. right now they're pulling the goalie Green they need two goals right now let's go let's and, get it and they are trying indeed to let's go and get it as uh, the Sockeyes <laughs> fire it deep down into the Richmond Meadows <laughs> flame zone they are trying hard to let's go and get it <laughs> um <laughs> Big scramble right now. Sockeyes get possession. Norton feeds it over to Baines to gain the zone. Baines fires it uh, in the stick. Norton feeds it right oh! out front. Grant, the puck's right out there. Oh They're my selling. God, he didn't get it. Referee signaling no goal. There is no goal on the play right now. The puck did not go in the back of the net. It is just around the net, Green. That was crazy. It was dangerously close. I thought close. it was in, dude. I thought it was in. Well, I mean, so did I, but... It was just bouncing all over the place. It did not go in. It went around, Green. Nope, it did not. Uh, the Flames fire it right back down as Ueda goes to pick it up for the Richmond Sockeyes. Uh, Ueda fires it, and oh, there he goes. It's a big scramble right now. Green Baines has it on the back end. Fire all they got to do is get in the down. zone, man. Set up. Lowen going to collect it for the Flames. Lowen trying to use those near side boards to get it out, but the Sockeyes player right there uh, lines back on Lowen's stick. Back on the Sockeye. Baines is Stick. Sockeye's throw towards the net, and Canduso's had enough of that, Green. Yeah, I mean, he's probably like, let's slow this down for a quick second. Face off one by the Sockeyes, who has a shot, hit a body out front, never makes it to the net as Grant picks it up. Grant throws it right out front, uh, whacking away at it right now. Puck loose on the far side boards. Flames turn it around and fire it over to the near side, held in by Sars. Sars feeding it right over, just out of the reach of McKnight. White oh, turns on the beat. Jets, falls down, but gets right back up. White for the Rich Meadows Flames, fires it in, and scores the empty netter. That's going to... Seal the deal on the game, my friend.
Oh my goodness, That'll be Green. It right there. What a fantastic Woo. game we have seen. And it looks like the Ridge Meadows Flames are going to be walking away with this one after that. I think so, too. And, uh, I mean, the Sockeye looked incredible, too, though. Oh, man. The Sockeye's turned up. Eight minutes left to go in the third. Four to one. The Flames oh, over the Sockeye. Man, still oh, sorry. 8.3 eight, 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 eight seconds. Yeah, 8.3 eight eight seconds. seconds. The I was like, eight minutes? What? <laughs> eight they wouldn't pull a goalie with eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and Sars, they let the time run out. And that's the end of the game. The Ridge Meadows Flames are now the 2023-2024 Stonehouse. Cup BJHL champion. Congratulations, boys. You earned that win, and what a win it was. What a fantastic game we got to see here tonight. Yeah. I want to take a second to thank the commissioner of the PJHL for allowing us to come to this game and capturing it. Yep. Thanks to David Stevens for plugging us and making that connection there to get us out. Yep. Uh, I mean, thanks to the, all the parents that came out. Both teams played a phenomenal game. The goalies, the coaches, and there you have it, Green. The cup yeah. has been hoisted by the Ridge Meadows Flames and yes, they're going to celebrate tonight. I think Junior is adult oh, 19 they're, plus. They're celebrating. So they might have a couple cold ones. <laughs> they're going to have a few. This isn't minor. There's no apple juice nope. being drinking after this game, Green. Look at that. And Ravenstein. The, That's like winning the cup, man. It is. It is literally winning yep. the cup, Green. They just did that. There's nothing like about it. This is it. No, I mean like the Stanley Cup. Yeah, well, I mean, juniors are big step. I know, man. it's the huge. The next, next step is the dub. Thank you and good night from Sally Entertainment. Like and subscribe.